This tip has saved me a thousand times from urgent deadlines and late nights. I'm sure it will help you as well. I have pre-filled all the layers with plain white color. As the video is showing, I'm applying the layer style into each layer. With this method, the plan can be rendered within one minute. Once the layer style is created, it can be used again and again in future projects. It can also keep the graphic style consistent across the team members. This will also allow you to try a tons of different styles onto one plan in no time to see which works best for this project. Before we jump into the details, you can find the link for layer style and PSD in the description below. Let's go with me to see how to create, save, import and reuse the layer style. This is a texture image I downloaded from the internet. Let's open it and make it a pattern first. Double click the layer to open the layer style. Apply the pattern we just made. Adjust the scale and angle. We are using this green texture in paving. So firstly, we're going to use the color overlay to change the hue. And another color overlay with screen blend mode to make it brighter. It looks pretty cool now for paving 1. Copy the layer style across to paving 2. We just need to adjust the first color overlay to make the color stronger. Here we can see the pattern jointing by rotating the pattern angle until the jointing is not visible in the plan. Moving to the next layer, setting. With a solid white color fill, it doesn't matter which color you draw on the plan. Add first shadow to the setting. This shadow will be clear and sharp like a real one. To make it look more three-dimensional, a second soft shadow layer will help. This shadow will spread wider with a soft edge. It will make it look like the city is obviously above the paving with a little bit distance. Another texture image for turf. Repeat the step to make it a pattern. And apply the pattern in layer style. Again, use a color overlay to adjust the color hue of the image. The benefit of color overlay is to make the layer itself and pattern non-destructive. Another color burn overlay to enhance the texture clarity. And then a white overlay to adjust the brightness. Repeat the same pattern making step for timber. Again, the first shadow will be short and sharp. A white stroke to the outside. Second soft shadow to bring the depth to the decking. Color burn layer to enhance the texture. A white saturation layer to make it less saturated. Copy and paste the layer style. Adjust the pattern angle to be perpendicular to the building. And do the same for the last timber layer.
Here we have finished all the surface finishes. Let's move to furniture. Let's do table and seating first. Reduce the layer fill to zero so we can control the fill opacity in layer style, which makes it easier for future use. And drop shadow. For umbrellas, let's have a yellow color overlay first. A new layer style, bevel and emboss. Max the depth. Change the size to make it look real. White overlay to highlight where it's facing the sun. Slightly darker lilac bird to the shadow side. And drop a clear shadow from the umbrella. Tree is a big topic. I'll do another video, you can see the top right link to see how to make brush and layer style like this. There is a white fill to the building shadow layer. Layer fill into zero again. Here I want to show you the difference between column burn and line burn and how to combine them to achieve a better outcome. Let's do the column burn first. The column burn enhances the clarity very well. But it burns too much if I want to make the shadow dark enough. Let's see how the Lilan Burn works. Lilan Burn achieves a better darkness, but it covers the content too much to be low layers. So I will find the middle place and use both of them to achieve both clarity and darkness. It looks pretty cool now. Moving to the last layer building, same solid white color feel. An inside stroke is light gray to make it feel like an edge wall to the roof. And another soft shadow from the building. We can see how the shadow creates the air between building and ground. Here we have almost finished it. Some extra touch can be added to the paving and lawn. Now let's see how to save the layer styles for future use. First, bring up the style panel from the menu. Click the plus sign to create the style from selected layer. I'll quickly do the same for the rest of the layers. Use Shift to select them all and export selected layer styles. Let's say if we want to use it for another plan, I prefer with white color. For the tips of how to quickly do the color fill, see my another video in the top right link. With that method, this plan can literally finish the color fill within one minute. Import the styles we just exported. Select the layer effect, it will apply to the selected layer automatically. Rendering a plan could be as simple as this. Select one layer with shadow and adjust the global shadow direction. All done. It's the fastest way to render a plan from my over 10 years experience. Don't forget the link for layer style and PSD file in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to subscribe for more videos.